this demo will show the process we have to go through for a remittance process. And there are two, assuming that there are two users on the client side and two users on bank side. So first, we start out as user one in the client side to log to do the usual login. And after logging in on the on the web browser, you need your you need the cell phone device with the SIM card to authenticate the login. Scanning the pass, uh, scanning the QR code to authenticate logins. Confirm. Then your web browser has access to, to the services. And then you press on the service you want to use, in this case, remittance. These are just the dummy data for, for the demo. So before you confirm the transaction, you need to authenticate the transaction. The QR code will appear and then use the cell phone device to scan the QR code. We have to authenticate the remittance process, confirm. Once you confirm, user two will receive a, a URL on his own device. Where you click on the link, it will give you access to on web browser, and then that, and then the user will have to enter his own pass, login, login username and password, and then to authenticate logins, you have to scan the QR code with his own device to confirm login. Once it's confirmed, you have access to the service. So now he can see the remittance information input by the first user for confirmation. And when, if everything is correct, confirm. And you need to authenticate the confirmation process using the QR code again. Confirmed. And now the process on the client side is complete. And now on the bank side, the first user will receive a URL in the, in the cell phone. And then the user one in the bank side will log in with their own username and passcode. And you need to use the device to scan the QR code to authenticate the logins. Confirm, and then you have access on your web browser. This is for official use on the bank side. So once, if the confirm, if the information is correct, you confirm and to authenticate, it, to authenticate the process, you need to use this, the device to scan a QR code. The first confirmation for remittance for bank usage. So confirmed. The URL will go to the person who does the final approval. So the same thing that person has to log in with his own username and passcode. To authenticate logins, you need to scan a QR code. It's the same as the previous users. Since this person hasn't logged in in the past two hours, we have to re-enter the passcode, which unlocks the SIM card again to authenticate the QR code.
since this person is to, the final person to approve the transaction, that person needs to enter the transaction called final conversion code. Final, com final confirmation code. And needs to use this, use the device to scan the QR code. But hold on. So once it's approved, Bang. all the other devices will receive a notification confirming the transaction. It's complete.